the direction of movement may be right, but the rate of movement may still be wrong. In what direction are you moving? You can be moving around in circles. You can be moving, you can be roaming. You can be stagnant. And even when you are moving forward, the speed may still not be in line with the purpose and plan of God for your life. You may still be slow. There is a speed that God wants you to move at. Second John 8 says it is called God's speed. There is a speed that is in tandem with God's plan for your life. At this time of your life, there is somewhere you are supposed to be. At this time of your life, there are things you are supposed to have had. At this time of your life, there are things you are supposed to have done. At this time of your life, there is a place you are supposed to have got into. So the fact that you are moving forward is not enough. A child can be moving forward. But at what speed? At what rate? I have seen churches that have not moved. They are moving forward, but at a snail speed. Which is not in tandem with God's plan. Whether you know it or not, there is a plan of God for our lives. There is a plan of God for this church. According to the plan of God, this church should be somewhere on this occasion of your 10th anniversary. The big question is, are we there? At this age, there is some place, you see, there is a blueprint. If we take the blueprint of what your life was, before I formed you, I knew you, before I brought you forth, I ordained you. That word, Jeremiah 1, 5, say, I ordained, is what used for design. I designed you. So you need to take the design of what God intention was and compare it to where you are and compare it stop congratulating yourself until you test that one out you may not be moving in circles you may not be moving backward you may not be running you may be making progress but are you making the kind of progress that god's plan is that you make are you where poor god plan you to be right now or are you short? People come short in life. The Bible said all have sinned. Romans 3, 23. And come short. But another thing that can make people come short. Hebrews 4, 1. Let us fear. Let us promise. Let for us of enter into his rest. Any of us should seem to come short. People come short because of sin. But there are people who come short. Mm -mm, you are not getting it right. There are people who come short because of not walking at the speed that God ordained for them to walk. In what direction are you moving? You are moving forward, yes. Congratulations. But at what rate? Is that speed, if you keep traveling like this, will you fulfill purpose? If you keep going, going at the rate at which you are going now, will you get to the place where you started out for? Will you become the person God wants you to be? One thing about me is I always check on myself. I don't just check on the direction. I also check on the speed. When I was celebrating my 50th birthday, the, the journalists in Nigeria and many members of the press, Tribune, Nation, Punch, they came. And there was one question they asked me, all of them. They said, where was it that you thought you would be when you were 50? That was the question. And my answer was ready. I said, where I am today when I'm 50 was where I thought I would be when I'm 55. That is to let you know that not only am I traveling in the right direction, but I'm also faster than what I thought. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a recovery plan. Whether you are behind schedule, or you are off course, or you are in the same circle, or you are stagnant, there is a recovery plan. There is no challenge that has affected your progress, but such as is common to man. And God is faithful. There is a way out. There is a way of escape. And that's what we are dealing with. There is a way of escape. Better. That is what we are dealing with. So what is God's 
program of recovery for someone who has not been moving along the same line who have not been who have been stagnant what is god's recovery plan for somebody who's been stagnant for somebody who's been going around in circle for a church probably who have been stagnant going around in circles or for 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 a ministry or a calling which has been going backward instead of forward what is god's recovery plan i want you to listen to me very carefully in my many years of looking at scriptures and encountering people counseling and helping people i have discovered that there is a principle in god's word that is called divine acceleration there is a principle in god's word it may not be that word may not be used to describe it but the essence of that statement describes what it is in scriptures there is a principle called divine acceleration what does divine acceleration mean it simply means when god shows up and puts things forward in a way that is different from how it has been in a way that is above what you expect in a way that is above what you anticipate that is divine when god shows up and boosts everything forward when god shows up and boosts everything forward what does it mean to accelerate something it means to increase the speed of for some of us god needs to increase the speed what does it mean to accelerate it means to pick up pace what does it mean to accelerate it means to get to get to move so that it can arrive sooner than expected what does it mean to accelerate it means to fast forward in those days of video cassettes i know what it is to fast forward the cassette even now in the days of dvd cd you can still fast it forward and when you fast it forward you see it times eight times 16 times 32 times 60, 64. what is telling you is that it is going at eight times the speed that it was going before now that is acceleration when god shows up and boosts everything forward when god shows up and boosts everything that was what happened in the case of david that was what happened in the case of joseph joseph was in a prison for 10 to 12 years his life was stagnant nothing was happening about the vision and the dream that god gave him but a day came from the prison to the palace that's acceleration it's a divine provision when you go from the back of the line to the front of the line when the stone with the middle reject becomes the head of the corner when a nobody becomes a somebody when you hear that voice be of good cheer he called thee so divine isolation is a divine provision by which you no longer operate at normal speed but an unfamiliar remarkable unusual speed when things begin to progress at a rate that Tattoos the mind and boggles the imagination. In what direction are you moving? In prayer for this church, I spoke to the pastor. I said, Pastor, how long have you been going? And the pastor told me, said, This is how long we have been going. And so I've been able to use that to pray. And my prayer is the same, even not just for the church, but for individuals who are in the church. Because whether you know it or not, if you are going to be sincere, to some extent, any of these five maladies may be the situation. May be that you are stagnant. You may not admit this to everybody, but you know the truth. You know how be that Christ dwelleth in you, except you want to be probate. You may have been stagnant. And that's the reality, that's the fact of life. You may have been going around in circles, and that's true in your relationship. And you may have been just wondering in your career you worked in almost all manners of imaginable places and your salary have not changed and you may have gone backward and at times you may have gone forward but you know that this is not the rate at which i begin i know i can do better than this whenever i go to germany i go to the autobahn there's this road they call it autobahn 
No speed limit. You just press till you die. So I take the car, go and go into some stores and get some of these cars to test it. To see the power of the engine. When a car that can go for 160 kilometers is going at 40, something is wrong. You know, you can come into a country like this, get your necessary qualification, but the progress in terms of career is not as it should be. It's like you are washing your feet with your socks on. You know, you have the capability and the potential to do so much more than this, but this is the way it is basic. That's what you are experiencing. So the big question is, in what direction are you moving? Ladies and gentlemen, my desire today is to prophesy over you, no matter what your situation is, that you begin to accelerate. No matter where you are, that you begin to accelerate. That the Lord will touch your situation and circumstance, and you begin to move forward. Not just move forward, but at a rate that is equal to the potential you carry. I want to tell you the blessings of acceleration. What are the blessings of divine acceleration? When God shows up and boosts things forward in a way that is different from how things have been. In a way that is different from what you expect, even anticipate or even imagine. When God surprises you. That's what divine acceleration is. Now what are the blessings? I will mention about five or six of them and the first blessing of acceleration, divine acceleration, is that it makes you recover from lost years. Lost years. Some of us have lost years. You lost years. When you were having to do another degree, you lost years. When you were waiting for your papers to be approved, you lost years. When you were waiting for your partner. I remember a couple that married in Nigeria. They married in Nigeria. The husband came to Canada here. While he was waiting for the wife ever to come through, the wife entered into menopause. Menopause. Good intention, good plan, good everything. But look at what happened. And so by the time she arrived, she had menopause. And I was <laughs> I was sharing with them, and I was saying, and I was saying, we're gonna to pray to God that you see that those number of years you have lost while you are waiting. I said, how long? He said, 14 years. A lifetime. The man couldn't go, the woman could not come. They had stamped their passport. No, no, no. Until it was almost looking like a pad on which they were testing whether their rubber stamp was working. Menopause. But I told him, I said, menopause is not menopause. Stop. That God who did that of Elizabeth, did that of Hannah, did that of people in the Bible, will do your whatever number of years you have lost. I command restoration. I command restoration. I command restoration. I command restoration. Acceleration makes it possible for us to recover from lost years. The Bible says in Joel 2:28 that I will. Restore to you the years with the locals as it the years you've lost. One of our sisters, I told you this testimony, I think along the line, married at the age of 40. And she kept speaking that God was going to restore to her. God was going to restore to her. By the time she was 44, she had four children, two boys and two girls, twins, beautiful and well fed. That is what a solution does. The God who did that woman's so will do your own as well. Will fulfill your own as well. Will fulfill your own as well. A solution helps us recover from lost years. God will move in such a way that you recover whatever you have lost. I prophesy, like David, recover all without faith. You will recover too. I say you 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 recover too. The God we serve is a God of acceleration. Acceleration guarantees recovery from lost years. You did it the first time you lost out, but you are having to redo it again. This time you will succeed with flying colors. 
the last failure was the last failure. You will succeed this time around. You will not fail anymore. The Lord will take you over. The Lord will take you over. You will make it in. It will happen. It will happen. It will happen. In the name of Jesus. That's what acceleration does. 